in this video, let's go over the string substring method. So the string substring method, there's two separate parts of this uh, versions, I should say, of this method. Let's go over both of these versions. So version one and version two. Version two. So version one is basically this. So what we do with version one, first of all, let me explain what a substring is. I forgot to explain what a substring is. A substring takes a portion of our string and it can store it in another string. For example, if I have the string NYC, I can take only the first two characters and I can store those characters in a string or I can print it out, whatever, whatever I want. But substring is basically a portion of the string. That's why the name is substring. That's just the basic idea of what a substring is. Let's go over an example with version one. You, you'll know what version one is when we go over it. So string city equals NYC. That's your, your city uh, variable. And then string subsidy, and I'm calling it subsidy. And I don't mean, I don't mean like, an, a, like a subsidy in the sense, like a, a portion of the city. I just mean uh, a portion of this, of this string itself. I just want to clarify that we have city because that's their variable name, dot substring, which is our method, city dot substring. And then inside our uh, parentheses, our argument is going to be two, two, we have two arguments here. In version one, we have two arguments. In version two, we have one argument. That's the difference between version one and version two. Two arguments. And I'll explain what, why we have two and why we have one as we go on. I just don't want to explain it and not make it concrete. So I'll do it with as we go on with examples. So city.substring, let's say that my I wanted to start with n, and I only want n and y. Only two characters, n and y. Keep in mind that in programming, we start with 0 and not with 1. So the first thing that we have to do is add 0. That's our first argument. Now, this is, the, this is where a lot of people get confused. Our second argument, you might be thinking, is 1 because it's, we just want the y. But if we do this, we're not gonna get ny, we're only gonna get n. The reason why is because we start at zero and we go up till one, but we don't include that. We only go from zero and one. So this is zero and we go to one and we only include the n. We don't include the y. And, and so in, that, in this situation, what we have to do is we have to do zero to two. It's gonna make more sense when we go over to VS Code. But so it's gonna be zero to two and that will get us to n and y All right uh and, and and then you can just print this out i'm not going to print it out because we'll go over to vs code anyway with one argument the thing that happens is the substring returns a part of the string starting at the first index specified and there is only one one argument and going out to the last uh last well the final part of the string uh, the final character so let's let's go over an example so if i have string city once again NYC, and then, so this is separate, string S, I'll just do S because I don't have space, and then city dot substring. What I'll do is I'll just start with Y, and then I'll do YC, I'll just do Y and C. So I'll start with one, because that's the position of Y, so this is zero and one, and then that's it, that's just our argument. What this is gonna output, if I print this out, so print, if I print this out, I'm just gonna get y, c as my output. Because it starts at one, which is y, and then it goes till the end. If I had n, y, c, uh, rocks or something like that, it would just do y, c, rocks. Basically, that's what it does. And that's our version two of the substring method with only one argument required. Let's jump over to VS Code to hopefully make this a little bit more concrete by looking, uh, going over some examples with the uh, compiler and running our code. All right, so the first case we're gonna go over is the, the substring with two arguments. So first we're gonna create a variable. So we're gonna say, in this case, we're gonna use string place and we're gonna say equals uh, New York in that case. So we have, a, we have a larger string in this case that we're gonna be using. 
So now we're going to use this, the version. So in this case, we're going to use the uh, version with two arguments. So we're going to create another string variable. So version one, which is two arguments. And then we're going to create a string variable. So we're going to say string subplace. And what that means is taking the substring of, uh, of the variable. And uh, but, uh, usually how you would, if you had like two words uh, that you're trying to name in a string, you would usually say the first word to be lowercase and then the second word to be uppercase. So we're saying sub and in uppercase place, uh, uh, the P is uppercase in place. And that's basically how we're usually naming uh, our strings with two words to make it more uh, clear. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do place and then dot substring, which means you're accessing this method specifically. And then we're, what we're gonna say here is zero and we're going to just say zero, which means starts at n, and give a comma, and make sure that arguments are separated by comma. So we're saying zero, and then comma. If you want to do it till w, well, we see here that uh, the first position is n, right? And it starts at index zero. So zero uh, e, which is one, and w, which is two. So, uh, but since we see here that the second argument is actually exclusive, we need to make sure we do. Uh, zero, one, two, and then we say three. So uh, to see that this is more clear, we're gonna print it out. And in order to actually demonstrate it, so system dot print ln subplace. So to basically summarize, the first argument is inclusive, the second argument is exclusive, and here with the output we see is new, new. Right, and that's basically the version with uh, the version with two arguments, which in which the first uh, argument is the starting position or starting index of what you want to take the substring of. The second argument is where uh, you want to end that substring at, making sure that the second argument is exclusive and that is going to basically kind of do something like so. It will, it will basically kind of do like zero in this case since we have substring zero to three starting at index zero. And it's going till index two. So zero, one, two. And we see that zero, one, two is new. So that's basically what the output is going to be. And now we're going to go with the second version. So version two is basically the one with one argument. So what we're going to do is we're going to do another place. So we're just going to say string place one. And we're just going to say, for example, Florida as another state. So now that we create this variable, or you could say Florida, the city of dreams, for example. And then we give it a semicolon. And now we're going to create another variable, which is the substring of place one. So we're going to say string sub place one, sub place one. And now we're going to do kind of like how we formatted the above. We do the variable name dot, so place one dot substring. And in this case, uh, if you pass in one argument, it's basically going to uh, the starting index and it's going to go till the end of that string. So if I wanted to start, for example, if I want to start at Z O, the letter O in Florida, now we have to count. So the, the letter F is starting at zero, index zero. If you count, we have L at uh, index one. O, we see, however, is at index two. And now, since uh, O is at index two, we are basically going to specify the number two in the, in the parentheses in the substring method. So basically what this is going to output is O and then the uh, Rida and then the state of dream. So it's going to go till the rest of the string. And to actually demonstrate this, we're going to print it out. So system.out.println subplace one. So subplace one. And now if you run it in our VS code, so uh, run. We see here is going to print out Orida and then dash the state of dreams. And so basically that's how it works with one argument. Uh, the first, are the, the only one argument is the starting index, and then it's going to go through the rest of the string or the last character of that specific string. And so that's basically the two versions that we wanted to demonstrate in terms of the substring method. Thanks.